Welcome to the vlog. I'm making a video today about Post Malone, who grew up here in Texas, not too far from my apartment. Let's first start by learning a little bit about his background, and then let's go check out the town Post grew up in. Austin Richard Post was born on the 4th of July, 1995, to his mother Nicole Fraser Lake and father Richard Lloyd Post in Syracuse, New York. Austin would later choose Post Malone as his stage name when he was 15 through an online rap name generator. Growing up in a middle class family, Post Malone initially lived with his mother in New York before moving to Grapevine, Texas to live with his dad, stepmom Jody, and stepbrother Mitch at the age of nine. That's when Post Malone's father got a job as a manager of concessions for the Dallas Cowboys football team before later becoming an assistant director of food and beverage at the AT&T Stadium. Having a father who was a DJ during his younger years, it was easy for Austin to fall in love with various genres of music, including hip-hop, country, rock, and heavy metal. Influenced by his dad's love for music and from the game Guitar Hero, Post Malone began teaching himself how to play guitar through YouTube videos. So let's grab some gear, take a 30 minute drive to Grapevine here in Texas, take some pictures, check out where Post went to school, where he worked, and first performed before becoming a global star. Let's roll out. Hey, here we are, home with the Mustangs. Here at Grapevine High School, we made it. This is where Post Malone went to high school. It's a beautiful day here at Grapevine, Texas. Just imagine, right there. Post Malone could have been riding that school bus right there. Little did we know a few years later, a star would be found, discovered, LA. But it all started here, man. Grapevine High School, this is where he laid down his roots, started to focus on his music, started to focus on songwriting. Of course, he was rocking out to a uh, guitar hero, picked up the guitar as we know, and the rest, as they say, is history. County Community College. Here at Tarrant County Community College, where Post Malone wasn't really feeling the vibe. Now, I think he enjoyed the view because the view is pretty amazing. 
was waiting his destiny. Fate would be calling him, saying, hey, Posty, college ain't it, man. Let's go ahead and cancel this. Let's go ahead and move to LA. Follow your dreams, follow your passion. And that's what he did. All right, all right. Let's head on up to Chicken Express. It's only about a 10 minute drive right up the street. Go check out where Post Malone worked at before he moved to LA. We just got here at Chicken Express. Let's go, come on. Here at Chicken Express where Post worked at before he moved to LA. Uh, either during college or after college. He worked here for a little while. Uh, there's a cool article I'll mention a little later about uh, him giving back to the employees here. But this is uh, not too far from where he went to college, uh, not too far from where he went to high school, and also not too far from where Main Street is. So it's all here uh, in Grapevine, Texas. So Chicken Express, man, some people say it's better than Chick-fil-A. I think it's open on Sundays as well. I don't know. But the Chicken Express nights, Mwah. I got a picture here I'll put up on the screen right here. Where Post is actually serving food out of the drive through window. This Chicken Express. Let's go check out Main Street. It's not too far from here, about a 15, 20 minute drive. So I'll see you there. down to the police. That's where it all started. That's where our boy Posty got to start. Wait to cross Main Street. Walk sign is on. There it is, everyone. It's hard to believe just three or four years ago, Post was right here. Napoli's Italian Cafe on Main Street here, Grapevine, Texas. Now he's all over the world. Good, looking great. Thank you. This is where Post Malone performed. Smaller crowds, acoustic guitar solo performance, Napoli's Italian Kitchen. 
amazing, amazing food. Get a chance, check out the cheese mozzarella sticks. Damn good, boy. Woo. Good. All right. Well, this is it for the tour. It's hard to believe, man. It's been three to four short years coming from a small little bar here on Main Street in a quaint little town. It's global. Rocking out 100,000 people. It's amazing. A true success story. Inspiring for everybody, all artists. My hat's off to you, Post Malone. A true people's champion. <laughs>